Happy Friday. Let's talk about the math behind time value of money. We constantly hear time is money. Well, today I'm going to show you how to find the present value, how to find the future value, and then I'm going to show you the difference between when you compound interest and then you're going to find out why credit cards make so much money because they compound basically daily. So let's do some math. Understanding time value of money is critical for investments and basically for someone that wants to know if you are going to get paid in three years, for example, $300 at 10%, and let's assume that this is compound annually, that means that the interest is just basically going to uh, you know, be set up per year, then how much money is that going to be worth today? So I have $300. Okay, and that's what's going to be called the future value now because it's in the future. What I want to figure it out is the value of those $300 today. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this amount to the present. So look what I do. I do present value is equal to the future value over 1 plus i to the n. 300 is going to be the future value. 1 plus 0.10 because remember this is the rate. And then 3, this is basically the years. And since we're compounding annually, then we don't do anything other than just do, you know, the math, like right here. And we get that the present value is 225.39. So let's say that you now have $100 at 12% and you deposit that $100 and you leave it in the bank for five years at 12%. Well, you're going to do future values equals to present value and then 1 plus i to the n. We do the math and we see that if you deposit $100 today, then in five years, you're going to have 176.23. As you can see here, if you put $100, you know, uh, today in the bank in five years, assuming that you make a 12%, you know, return, you're going to get $176.23. Realistically, no bank will ever pay, you know, basically you can, you know, earn. So let me show you an example. If I do it, the future value monthly, and don't worry about the math, I'm going to put a tutorial at the end. Uh, you're going to get 181. If you do it annually, remember it was 176. And then if you do it daily, if you compound interest daily, you get, I'm going to give you an example. If you look in the back of your credit card statement, you're going to see that they compound daily. And basically all the money that you own your credit card, they earn interest over interest in a daily basis. So I hope, <laughs> you know, this kind of gives you the importance of how important it is to understand the time value of money. I'm putting here this link. There's like around 62 videos and it's different videos about finance, accounting, um, basically, you know, doing what I love, thinking of numbers. So I hope you enjoy that. And you know what? If you have a